to produce thrust, in grams, increases with the motor kV, as the figure 1 shows. Dispersion of points due to different propeller pitch. Greater the kV value, greater is the power that is needed to produce the same thrust. This is because, greater the kV, you have more air speed but smaller propeller diameters must be used. In this figure the power to thrust ratio is the vertical axle. The kV of motor is in the horizontal axle. The power to thrust ratio increases when the kV of motor increases. The graph is a simplification of the total relationship that I found. To keep this method for choosing the motor as simple as possible, I will omit two technical calculations and make the selection step by step. The starting point will be the total weight of the airplane. If you do not know it, then make an assumption. It is better to overestimate the weight. Known the weight of your plane, the steps are 1. Choose your thrust to weight ratio. 2. Calculate how much thrust your plane need. 3. Decide if you want a fast or slow plane, and 4. Choose a value of kV. 5. With the kV value, find the power to thrust ratio. 6. With the thrust needed, find the power in watts. 7. With the value of power, kV, and thrust, choose a motor from a manufacturer. 8. Find the recommended propeller for this motor, or follow the method here indicated to choose one. Step 1. Depending what type of airplane you have, choose the thrust to weight ratio. We will work with two examples at the same time. Example 1. Scale flight, thrust to weight ratio equals 0.70. Example 2. Jet, thrust to weight ratio equals 1.5. Step 2. Calculate how much thrust your plane need. The calculation is. With the weight of the plane and the thrust to weight ratio, find the necessary thrust. Thrust equals weight multiplied by thrust to weight ratio. Example 1. Scale flight, plane weight equals 1200 grams. Thrust to weight ratio equals 0 0.70. Thrust equals 1200 by 0 0.70 equals 840 grams. Example 2. Jet, plane weight equals 1200 grams. Thrust to weight ratio equals 1.5. Thrust equals 1200 by 1 1.5 equals 1800 grams. Step 3. Decide if you want a fast or slow plane. The following table gives the values of air speed, according to the motor kV, these values are only examples for a fixed propeller pitch and a given battery voltage. If you want a fast plane, choose a high kV. If you want a slow plane, choose a low kV. Table 2.2 Some guidance to choose the kV. For a kV of 1000 you will expect high thrust, 3.5 to 4.5 grams per watts approximately, and low air speed. For a KV of 2000 you will expect medium thrust, 2.5 to 3.5 grams per watts approximately, and medium to high air speed. For a KV of 3000 you will expect low thrust, 1.8 to 2.5 grams per watt, and high air speed, propeller and duct fan. For a KV of 4000 you will expect lower thrust, 1.5 to 1.8 grams per watt approximately, and higher air speed, duct fan. Choosing the KV. Example 1. Scale flight. I choose a low KV because I need more thrust than speed. A KV around 1000 will do the job. Example 2. Jet. I want speed on a jet, but I don't want duct fan, so I choose a KV around 2500. Step 5. 
Find the power to thrust ratio. With the KV value, go to figure 1 or table 3 and find the power to thrust ratio. Example 1 scale flight. From table 3, with 1000 KV, I find a power to thrust ratio equals 0.26 watts per gram. Example 2. Jet. From table 3, with 2500 kV, I find a power to thrust ratio equals 0.515 watts per gram. To obtain the power to thrust radio, you can use the line or the mathematical expression, placing the value of kV that we have chosen. With your kV value, go vertical, intercept the line and go horizontal to the left, to find the power to thrust ratio. You can also use the tables on the following slides. With this tables you can find the value of the power to thrust ratio. Note that you can choose watts per gram, or watts per ounce, if you prefer to work with the English units. In yellow you have the value of the power to thrust ratio for 1000 kV. In blue you have the value of the power to thrust ratio for 2500 kV. Step 6. Calculate the needed power. Example 1. Scale flight. From step 2, I need 840 grams of thrust, and using the power to thrust ratio equals 0.26 calculate the needed power. Power in watts equals thrust by power to thrust ratio. Power equals 840 grams by 0.26 watts per grams equals 218 watts. Example 2. Jet. From step 2, I need 1,800 grams of thrust and using the power to thrust ratio equals 0.515. Power equals 1,800 grams by 0.515 watts per gram equals 927 watts. Step 7. Choose a motor. Example 1 scale flight. We have 1000 kV and 218 watts, 327 watts. Example 2. Jet. We have 2500 kV and 927 watts, 1800 watts. Now, with this values we can go to manufacturer's catalog and choose the motors. I always recommend to choose higher values of the motor power, 40 or 50% more, to fly easily at 50 to 60% throttle. The power value in parenthesis reflects this consideration. Example 1 scale flight. With 1000 kV, 327 watts, trust 840 grams, with this values I chose. Motor 1. Turnagy D2836-8 1100 kV brushless Outrunner motor Specifications RPM, 1100 kV Maximum power, 336 watts Prop size, for 7.4 volts battery 11 by 7 inches And for 14.85 volts 7 by 3 inches Maximum thrust, 1,130 grams. Motor 2. Turnagy D3530-14. 1,100 kV, brushless Outrunner motor, specifications, RPM, 1,100 kV, maximum power, 315 watts, prop size, for 7.4 volts, 12 by 6 inches and for 14.8 volts, 8 by 4 inches. Maximum thrust, 1,100 grams. Example 2. Jet. With 2,500 kV, 1,390 watts and trust 1,800 grams. I went to a website and found. Motor 1. Turnagy XK3665, 2300 kV sensorless inrunner, specifications, 
Motor KV, 2300, maximum current, 72 amps, maximum voltage, 21 volts, 5S battery, power, 1512 watts. Motor 2. Turna G480LV spec in runner with impeller. Specifications. Battery, 3 or 4 cell, 11.1 or 14.8 volts, RPM, 2150 kV, maximum current, 60 amps. Maximum power, 800 watts, you can use two of this to have 1600 watts. Data with 4S battery, 14.8 volts. Prop, 6x4, 6x5.5, 7x4. Maximum current in amps, 25.5, 33.2, 46 respectively. Thrust in grams, 870, 1080, 1320 respectively. I used twin motors to reach the needed power and thrust on one of my delta planes. You can use only one motor with double thrust but I find easier to install two motors. Step 8, Find the propeller. Find the recommended propeller for these motors according with the manufacturer. If the manufacturer don't recommend propellers, then follow the following method. Go to figure 4. The red and blue lines show the diameter for which the sound speed is reached at the propeller tip for two popular voltages. Figure 4. Maximum propeller diameter. Choose a propeller or rotor diameter from the black line. As an example for a 1100 kV motor, go up vertically, as the yellow line indicates, reach the black curve, go to the left, and find 10 inches as propeller diameter. Table 4 Propeller diameter and KV of motor You can use this table to find the maximum propeller diameter according with the motor's KV. As an example, for the 1100 KV motor, we find a maximum diameter of 9.5 inches, as indicated in yellow, we can use a little bigger or a little smaller diameter too. For a 2300 kV motor the maximum propeller diameter would be 5.5 inches, as indicated in green. Step 8. Find the propeller. The propeller diameter is limited by the kV because, after reaching the speed of sound, the propeller efficiency drops sharply. When you choose a propeller diameter, or rotors, from the black curve, you are ensuring that the propeller tip speed will be below the speed of sound. Example 1. For the chosen motor of 1100 kV, the propeller diameter, according to figure 4, has to be maximum 10 inches. Manufacturer recommends between 7 and 12 inches depending of battery voltage. Example 2. For the chosen motor of 2200 kV, the propeller diameter, according to figure 4, will be 6 inches, and for 2300 kV, the diameter has to be maximum 5.5 inches. Warning. As motor power consumption. Voltage by current, depends on the product propeller diameter by pitch, whenever you select a propeller, check that current does not exceed that allowed by the manufacturer. Otherwise you can burn the motor, and probably other components. Using the method proposed here, will allows you to choose the motor and propeller for your plane and have a good match for your project. The method has been proved very useful for me and for other friends too. It took me time and work to understand the relationship between motor KV, the supplied power and the thrust. I hope this presentation will be useful for you and spare you time, and money too. Thank you for watching.